Hey, what is up guys? So I've been meaning to make this video for a while. I did move into a different building. For those of you that did not know, I had a thrift store opened up actually down the street. It was in a barn building. Uh, I did that for about two years, but the winters got a little too rough in Ohio for me. Uh, there was no heat, there was no electricity, there was no plumbing in the entire building. It was just literally a barn, uh, an old wooden barn. And I just would do sales out of it and you know, just whatever, I'd buy stuff and resell it in there. Uh, but finally I got uh, into a different building, which I'm, kind, I'm in right now. I'll show you guys the outside, give you a better idea. So it is in an old church. Um, I do get that pavilion in the garage with it. That is my car and truck and trailer right there. The trailer definitely helped with the move and everything. But yeah, so it's an old church from the front. It looks a lot more like a church, but mine's actually the bottom part of the church. So while it's the bottom, technically, um, the basement, I guess, it is actually level to the floor in the back. But as you can see, when you get to the front of the church, it is also pretty level to the ground. It kind of goes uphill a little bit and this goes downhill. So, but I like that fact. That means there's no stairs that I have to worry about getting furniture or whatever in and out of. And uh, of course, some customers aren't capable of using or going upstairs. So definitely something I wanted to uh, make sure I had a level floor. Um, so when you just walk in the main room, it's not totally ideal. It's set up kind of like a banquet, like they're like little hall downstairs almost. So um, it definitely still has that hall vibe, of course. It's a huge kitchen here, but I'm trying to utilize the space the best I can. Um, kind of use some of it for my own personal stuff. You know, I got uh, uh, like my coffee, microwave, all that kind of stuff over there. But then I'm gonna use this room sort of as the, and this is like my space over here. This is gonna be the more than a dollar item room. So basically every item in this room is gonna be more than a buck. And if you guys don't know my concept of my store, it's every item in the entire store is a dollar besides the furniture. So yeah, while well, it's an interesting concept uh, and there's definitely good and bad days so far, um, I definitely think that that is the best way I can move product at the fastest pace. Sorry, the lights are off, I'm gonna go turn them on. Um, but regardless, this is the large main room here. You'll be able to get a better look whenever I turn the lights on. Okay. So that's not all the lights, those are still off, but regardless, you get a good idea. Um, we just kinda, we just moved in about a month ago, so we're still getting um, acquainted with the building. We're still getting set up, um, but we're trying to make it as presentable as possible with, you know, display. You know, as you can see, I, ju I just put these tables up yesterday, so that's why they're not full yet. Um, but got a lot of those tables full of stuff, some clothing over here. And there's actually a lot of really nice stuff in here. Some stuff that I should probably have on eBay. That is actually a good jacket. I, I have one of those on eBay that's like identical to that. Marvin Richards, is that what that is? Whatever. Yeah, it looks like a pretty good um, wool jacket or something. But regardless, guys, this is my store. Um, so, and if you guys are wondering where I get all this stuff from, it all comes basically from auctions or buyouts. Um, and now we just finally started taking donations. So people have been dropping stuff off. There's good and bad to that, of course. You know, you, you definitely find some cool stuff whenever people donate it. But then there is some trash too that you have to dispose of. So make sure you account for that if you ever think about doing it. Um, but regardless, yeah, this is, uh, I've, uh, only, like I said, I've only been working on this for about a month now. So I'll show you guys the other side of the store. And when you head into this room right here, there's another room that uh, right now is more than a dollar room. We got some pews in there. Obviously, uh, it was a church and there was some leftover pews uh, in the downstairs. So I'd like those to be gone, but the landlord's kind of being weird about it right now, but nonetheless, we'll get them out of there eventually. Um, so definitely a lot more work to do. I just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of where I'm at and what I got going on. There's probably some good stuff here for eBay, some pottery that needs to be listed. Um, but I'll show you guys my eBay room in a second too. But yeah, so uh, uh, just a, a lot of things to do right now. <laughs> yeah, that's the best way I could put it. Um, definitely need to get some stuff done. But, you know, I've been working steadily, so I can only do so much as one person. But just got some rows of stuff there. As you can see, another empty shelf. Just put those up today, so I will eventually fill those. Some nice little um, 
chairs and couches. And I've got a nice table set here, actually. That doesn't go with that at all. <laughs> this is like grape, and those are like artsy, you know, so it doesn't really flow. But nonetheless, I threw it on there just to make it look stupid. Um, Furniture is kind of clustered up right now. I just kind of moved all this stuff around. But uh, yeah, so that is the gist of my store. Um, you know, I think a lot of people that get into thrift stores or start their own thing, a lot of them go out of business relatively quickly, at least in my area. Um, I would say probably 90% of them um, are gone within a year. Um, I had my barn for two years. Um, and the only reason why I'm getting out of or I got out of it and moved to here was because I simply um, wasn't able to operate during the winter. So that really hurt me and had, it set me back every year. So um, I still did good with it, but nonetheless, I definitely want to, this is the bathroom. I definitely wanted to get into something more. I mean, it's just a, your average toilet. <laughs> I don't know why I'm giving you guys a tour of a bathroom, but yeah, so I mean, I'm just, to be honest with you, I'm actually quite excited about the bathroom because I didn't have one previously. So I have this bathroom and actually another bathroom on the other side. But uh, we have, I literally haven't used the other bathroom watch yet. So there's my professional sign. This is my office slash eBay slash chill area. Um, that's our mascot right there. He's the mascot for the uh, store. But that's my eBay area. It's not big. Like I've not been doing very much on eBay lately. This move has kind of taken a lot of time and um, definitely sent me back in that area. But we're getting there. Just organize the bins where everything's marked. Um, let me know what you guys do to organize your eBay stuff. Like, uh, I like the bin system. I like doing like, you know, every, every item has a little code on it. Um, cause that just makes it super easy to find the item, but I'm sure there's some other stuff out there. And I just switched to this. I used to literally just throw it up on shelves like this and I would have no idea, you know, where it would be. I'd have to just find, look through everything, but <clears throat> this is all unlisted stuff right here. So some of that's not going to be going on eBay. We will see. I have to go through it and check it out. But a lot of this stuff is already researched. It just needs to be listed. So there's some decent stuff here. I, dude, this weird enough. I bought this thing for a dollar. And the only one I saw on eBay was selling for like $80. It was sold for $80. So uh, pretty interesting. But some more unlisted stuff there. This is kind of like my little packaging area. Computer, obviously, a printer. Uh, and I keep my boxes in a separate area keep my boxes in this corner you can't really see it but I have a stack of um, broken down boxes right there uh, so guys I just wanted like I just said I just wanted to give you a rundown of what I've been up to I uh, definitely will keep you guys up to date with you know the uh, um, auctions that I'll be going to in the future when I'm out thrifting uh, I think it's really great to share content with you guys and kind of share ideas because um, you know if I'm sourcing some random product that I'm doing really well on um, I want you guys to know about it because quite honestly, we're, we're really not competing directly. I don't think you can really compete directly in this business. There's just too many variables and too many different things that, um, that uh, you have to account for. Now, of course, like if I was doing replenishable goods, then the competition is there for sure. But when you're talking about non-replenishable, like one-off items or like one-of-a-kind items, it's pretty rare that you're gonna <laughs> run into a situation where sharing information with other people is gonna hurt you. You know, in my opinion, uh, I could be wrong and uh, who knows, but the, the idea is that rarely do I ever even come in contact with the same item, um, let alone, you know, other people or even more directly people that I was talking to or, or giving information to. So um, I never hold back, you know, information. I try to share it with everybody. So I would definitely uh, keep you guys up to date with what's really hot right now on eBay. I'll try to update my or show you guys my store at least like once a month so you get an idea of what I've been moving. Um, I see a lot of other YouTube accounts do that. And I think that's that's really helpful. Um, I can't think of the one guy's name, but he goes through like what his best sellers were every month. And I think like for me, I, I've used a lot of his information and and uh, did good on eBay previously. I've kind of like I said, I've kind of slowed down on eBay, but definitely about to pick it up because during the winter time, if this store gets slow. Uh, I'm going to need something to pay the bills and uh, this place isn't going to be cheap. So we're going to have to make it work. So, um, but thanks for watching. I just wanted to make this a little update video, not professional at all, but uh, we will, um, we will work on that a little bit and make sure we get some quality content to you guys. Um, but I'm excited about this. I really, you know, I've tried a lot of things since like getting involved in like thrifting and selling and all that kind of stuff and eBay. Um, and I really, I got started when I was about 13 or 14 ish. 
So it's been a minute, it's been about six or seven years and I've been on and off doing it and doing other things in between sales and whatever different job I've had. Um, but I keep some reason gravitating back to this and there's a, I think a few different reasons. Um, one definitely being the freedom it gives me. Now with a retail store, it's a little bit different because the freedom's not always there. You know, I'm definitely obligated to work a, a decent amount of hours a week, definitely over full time. Uh, but it's different type of work too. I really enjoy the work thoroughly. Like, um, like I don't enjoy unloading a truck, for instance, like when, when it, like we pull a trailer in or something, but I enjoy like the majority of this business. Um, so I do uh, think that that's a huge reason why I don't mind working more hours. But also I get the freedom to like where if I don't feel like coming in for a week, not necessarily feel like, but like I want to go out of town or go travel or do something, I'm able to pay one of my people to come in and uh, while it might cost a little bit, at the end of the day, um, I still have that opportunity to you know, pay a worker to come in and I, I can then do what I want. Um, and I do that now. Whenever I want to go out thrifting or whenever I go to auctions, I do have somebody come in and watch the store and I, you know, I pay them. Um, but regardless, uh, yeah, for some reason I keep gravitating back towards this business. So I figured, I said, what the heck, I'm just going to try to do my very best. So I bought a trailer. Um, obviously I got my truck and I got this store now. So, um, so far it's been doing pretty good. Uh, definitely we're, we're already profiting, so it's not like we're losing money at this point, but we'll keep, uh, dumping it all back in and making sure that, uh, we keep this place full hopefully. And, uh, that's about it. You know, it was, a, it's been a pretty good couple. We've only, like I said, we've only been open a month, so a little too hard to tell right now too early, but, um, this video is already kind of long. Uh, but yeah, so that's what's going on. But thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I will be making more content like this in the future, so stay tuned. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, like I said, I'll be posting a lot more, and it will definitely be oriented around thrifting, eBay, auctions, flea markets, my store, uh, and try to sharing try to share information with you guys and, and uh, hopefully create a little bit of a community. That's the goal. But um, regardless, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys.